アンダーナイトインバース。Hi, hi. <clears throat> How we doing? Uni day, uni day. I haven't played uni. Well, I played uni on Saturday at Locals. I haven't streamed uni in a bit. So I figured it was time. Okay, looks like ads are over. Let me cut over to uni. I did not make the game uni. I'll make a little... Probably gonna crash now. There we go. All right, uh, let's game. I'll just do waiting in training mode for this one. Hi, human. Hi. Hi, everyone. Keegan, Hedgehog, human. How y'all doing? Weird toast. Weird toast to me is like... Yeah, I don't even know. Just getting started, though. I hope I don't bully too hard. 
Grinding for Evo? Hell yeah. Just got home. Love to hear it. Erm. Okay, this dude's going nuts. How was my day? My day was good. A little busy, but that's kind of the norm now. Ah, uh, he wanted CS. Are you dead? Uh, not dead. I've been cooking uh, in uni. I've been doing pretty good. I don't know, something kind of clicked. I think it was all the Tekken I was playing. But something kind of clicked as far as like watching my opponent. Like, oh! Wait, that was sick. Mans was churning. I gotta answer that differently. Yeah, a little cross training. Paying attention to your opponent's habits and all that, you know. Like that. But uh, yeah, I don't know. I don't know if y'all saw an Omni stream on Saturday. The locals. Um, I got second. I lost to Omni, <laughs> of course. But uh, it was not free, and I actually beat him in winners finals. I was in winners side grand finals, and then he ran it back on me in um the grand final reset. It went 3-1 and then 3-2 in Grand Finals, his favor. And then Winner's Finals was also 3-2. It was super close. But I feel really good. Yeah, I mean, going close with Omni Deeg is, you know, no small feat. I want cycle here. Yep. Thank you. Yeah. Feeling pretty good about my confirms and stuff too. I, I it might be the new stick. <laughs> I can I actually I haven't streamed uni since I got the new stick, huh? Uh maybe did I have the new stick for my tournament run? I must have. I don't think they've ever played against Chaos. Yeah, I get that a lot. I get that a lot. Actually a lot of the people who came down from um Central Florida wanted the chaos experience, and me and Sea Hill both go to my local. So they got a lot of chaos experience. Sea Hill, I think, got third. Sea Hill got third and fourth. It's a lot of rip on a Nanase. Let's see how they do. Erm? I think my most played matchup in tournament is Chaos. Huh. Interesting. Delayed wake up. Yeah, you got me. Whoa, she wants. That was ADP. Oh, yeah, I guess with CS. With CS, ADP is very doable there. This is scary. That's so unfortunate. Oh! 
She had cycle there. She's um she's pretty determined to get in. Yeah. I think we can play around that. This one is for me, a selfish request. Well, you're more than welcome to a selfish request on your birthday. Happy birthday, Blade. How you doing? We will do that tier list after this match. Erm. Erm. Aw, oh, it sucks. I need to sit and block more versus person. They're not actually throwing that much. Yeah. It's kind of obvious when they're throwing. Ah, it don't work. You could have maybe 5 8 there. Wow, that punish. Oh, this sucks. Dang it. She wanted, um... Oh, that's so unfortunate. She wanted, um... A grab punish there, too. Can't quite tell... I can't quite tell what she's trying to do on offense. I think I need to watch a little bit more. I need to just block and watch a little bit more. And maybe try to shield some of these overheads. She's very blocky on, um... Full screen defense, though. Not really risking anything on... Oh, that's a punish? Not really risking anything on full screen defense. Wow, that reached. That sucks. I knew it as soon as I pressed tech too. Yeah. This one might just be a loss. Yup. Can't really do much about that. Sure. Yup. Yup. Well, not much to be done. Every everything I push is wrong. Nice. Yeah, I don't know what I'm supposed to do. Yep. Oh, wow. Brilliant. GG's. Right, I'll pull up that tier list. Don't really know what the plan should have been. Oh, awesome. Okay, so we got all the Mega Man X bosses. Ah, uh, I don't really want this track playing. Okay, let's just play some, like, Mega Man track. I'm in your walls. Hi, Aaron. Let's pull this up. Okay. So they have a lot of tiers here, S through F. I think I'm gonna cut a couple. Um, Probably just start with five tiers. Maybe we have to make more. Um, this is partly going to be from their aesthetic and partly going to be from what it's like to play against them and kind of conceptually how they do. Um, and I actually don't quite know where to start. I might have to, I might have to just go like in order and just kind of like move them around a lot as I, as I hit new ones and stuff. That's probably what I'm going to be, have to be doing. Have I played all of them? Yes, I have played all of them. Get rid of that. Uh, okay, so let's start with Armored Armadillo. Armored, Armored Armadillo is... We can do them in series order. Uh, yeah, actually, series order is a good way to go. So here, let me just do this. Let me grab the ones from the game that they're from. And uh, we can do it that way. 
Yeah, I really like, uh, oh, their theme is probably gonna have something to do with it too. Um, and again, I might miss, I might miss them on the first pass through or so. Um, they are in alphabetical order though. So, oh, nope, that's X2. Uh, we need Flame Mammoth. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We're missing Launch Octopus from X1. Okay, so X1. Uh, so let's see, the best, the best stuff. None of these, I don't think any of these are S tier bosses. Um, also, since this is S1, a lot of these are like super free if you have their weakness. Um, trying to think like how I want to gauge them. I guess I would gauge them on like enjoyment of their fight for me. And I'll talk a little bit about each of them and, and what I kind of remember from them. And so I think from here, I think Chill Penguin is probably an A. Chill Penguin is a cool fight because it's kind of the first fight that you do in the game pretty much always because you want to get the boots. And it's a really cool fight to kind of show off. It's funny too, cause like, I mean, Mega Man X is basically unplayable without a dash. Um, but specifically, like if you tried to do um, Cho Penguin's boss fight without the boots, it's actually like really, really hard. <laughs> like, cause you gotta do a lot of wall jumping and a lot of like dancing around. So I think Cho Penguin is a great way to show you how to fight a boss in Mega Man X, which I really, really like. Um, also, also really good is um, Boomer Koanger. I think Boomer Koanger is a really cool fight. Um, trying to fight him without his weakness is really hard for me. With his weakness, he's super free. And so like that's probably what's keeping him from S, but he's a really cool concept. And like the synergy between like, even if you didn't know that his weakness was homing missile, you would try to probably use homing missile against him because he teleports around so much. So it's really good synergy between what, what like, his weaknesses and how he functions. Um, also, yeah, Boomer's tough. And like you're sp like in the fastest route, you kill him with Buster because you don't have homing missile yet. And like, that's a harder fight for sure. He's hard to Hadouken as well, uh, unless he RNG like straight charges you. Um, low tier here, Flame Mammoth is legit D tier. One, his weakness is Storm Tornado, which doesn't even make sense and like doesn't even it doesn't even like affect him in a way. He's just big and it like scrapes against him and stuff and like hits him. I, I don't know. I really don't like, uh, I really don't like Flame Mammoth boss fight. It's super lame. Uh, similarly, uh, this guy, Spark Mandrel is kind of whack. Um, with his weakness, he is so boring. You can cut off his trunk with, with, the, with the storm. Oh, that's cool. I didn't know that. Spark Mandrel is super boring, but at least like, I guess boring in like a functional way where it's like, okay, his weakness just makes him trivial. L same thing with Sting Chameleon. Sting Chameleon is like, if you have Boomerang Cutter, he is like, oh, with Boomerang Cutter, you cut off his trunk. That's neat. Flame at least has a cool level in music. Yeah, I'm not really considering their levels, but that might be like a tiebreaker type thing for them. Um, Stink Chameleon kind of, like, none of these bosses are terribly cool conceptually, like, in their fight. There's no cool gimmick. Launch is also, like, D tier. You gotta use Rolling Shield on him. He's, like, super boring. He's better than Mammoth, though. And then, like, Eagle and Armadillo probably fall somewhere around here. Um, Armadillo is cool because you can shock off his, his armor. And, like, he, he gets, like, a whole new moveset, kind of. Um, Storm Eagle's probably higher. Storm Eagle's a cool fight. He's very slow, though, so maybe not. Octopath and Mammoth have additional weaknesses with Cutter, and you can cut off their limbs. That's neat. So, yeah, something like this probably for X1. And, and again, I don't think there's any S-tier bosses in X1. I think X1, it's all really straightforward. All right, X2 brings us Buffalo, Crystal Snail, Maw, Morph Moth, Magna Centipede, the Stag. Ooh, 
Squire Sponhe, Gator, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I'm missing. No, that's X4 or X3. Um, oh, ostrich. <clears throat> Oh, and but wait, one, two, three, four. Oh, this is wait, one, two. Th oh, buffalo is three. You're right. Bubble crab. <clears throat> uh, okay. Yeah. So this game, X two is probably my favorite. Um, some pretty sick bosses here. Uh, wire sponge is kind of whatever. He's got a cool mechanic. He sets up like ground traps and stuff. He's like he's probably here. And again, he's the intro boss basically. Um, he's probably, he's probably like here. Bubble crab theme. I mean, all the themes are super good in two. I, I really, really like two. So yeah, probably put, probably put wire sponge here. After sponge, you go fight gator. Gator can be infinited, which is kind of cool. I don't know why they cut off his face. Um, gator can be infinited. Um, which is funny. Um... But Gator also has like the burrow mechanic and the, he creates wall spikes. Gator is an S tier boss. He has a lot of really cool mechanics. He does a lot of really cool things. Uh, I think Gator is an S tier boss. His theme's really good as well. Oh yeah, you can do um shine jumps in X2, right? Um, And then you go fight Bubble Crab. Bubble Crab is neat, but, like, not a very fun boss. He has spikes on the ceiling, which is neat, so you can't just, like, hug the wall like you can in a lot of other fights. Um, but he doesn't really interact with his weakness great. Like, you gotta get him to land on the wheel. He's, again, I think he lands around here somewhere. Probably, like, here. Um, Bubble. Then you go to Flamestag. Flamestag is gonna get an A rank. Maybe even an S rank, just on aesthetic. The fact that he has, like, the Street Fighter moves... Uh, he has like the show you can and stuff and he jumps off the wall and then the bubble move is made to go up to chase him up the wall it's a really sick fight um definitely 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 like flame stag i think he's also s tier uh among some of these other bosses um then you go to morph moth morph moth is a super sick boss i don't know if i want to put morph moth in s tier um only because like you don't actually see morph moth <laughs> a lot of his fight it's so vertical to fight morph moth and unless you're kind of cheesing him with charged flame attack uh it's it's kind of a pain in the butt to fight him um and not in like a good way but like the fact that he like transforms is a really cool mechanic and like actually goes from the cocoon to like he's he's very close he might be an s tier boss to your point um but i think like Phase one is a joke with his weakness. And then phase two is like annoying, even with his weakness. So like, I don't know. I don't know if the like transformation gimmick is enough for me to put him in S. Um, and then you go fight Magna Centipede. Uh, Magna Centipede. He's kind of neat. The transform is very hype. It's definitely like unexpected because you look at everyone else and like there's very few other similar things in in the X series. Um, Magna Centipede has a really cool gimmick where like he he goes to the four corners and because you got junk shot to fight him. <gasps> Frey, thank you for the resub. I appreciate it. Welcome back to the tournament staff for seven months. Hope you're doing well. Rawr. Hi hi. Oh, ad break. We'll wait until the ad break ends. I should snooze ads for this. Doing my best? Well, that's all you can do. Big vibes. I got worked by that Nanase player. I, I really struggle with, like, 
just like aggressive opponents. I need to figure out what to do against aggressive opponents. And I think, I think I'm too passive against, or no, not too passive. I, I'm bad at timing responding to them. Because they're aggressive, they're gonna be doing a lot of stuff, but if I can survive to like layer two or three, I think I can get more opportunities than if I just try to call out their first interaction point. I think that's how I wanna approach those matchups. It just sucks when they have like looping pressure that will looping pressure that they'll just keep doing if you're too passive okay ad break over um so magnus centipede is probably around here somewhere he's like good and like he, he has synergy with the weakness where the weakness breaks into four pieces and goes to all four corners which helps you fight against him i think that's really really cool um the way you beat him in a speed run is kind of lame uh, I did not personally like good speed run them, but I know some of the speed run strategies. Um, Crystal Snail is cool. You can bully him. You can kick his shell around. I think that's really cool. I think he's definitely an A tier uh, type boss. And then Overdrive Ostrich, you rarely use your weakness to beat him. Um, you could, and you could like freeze him and stuff, but like really just fighting him with the Buster and the fact that he uses the background as well is pretty neat like it like they give you an infinite screen it's actually a really cool gimmick they give you an infinite screen and you can like you can ditch him on the screen and you're like oh i want to do that but then you get this like really unpredictable like background jumping attack and it's like oh, i don't want to deal with that let me keep him on the screen and then the fight becomes really like you know dodging his attacks but trying to keep him on the screen yeah x2 has so many good fights all right, X3, Buffalo, uh, Kerkrab. Do, 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 tiger, 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 Beetle, uh, Walrus is four. Wait, is this the spider from X1? I think it is. We might have to get into those at the end. It's a lobster. He's a crayfish, actually. Toxic seahorse, tunnel rhino, volt catfish. Erm, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Don't tell me, don't tell me. It's the hornet, right? Where is it him? Blast Hornet? Yeah, that's him. B. Yeah. <clears throat> okay. Um, holy crap, this boss sucks. <laughs> this boss is on the same tier as this guy. And like, you can literally make him run into a wall over and over again. What a horrid boss. He has such a cool weapon. Like, the way his weapon works. Buffalo, yeah, Buffalo needs help, man. That's... <laughs> he goes way low. Um, and then his weakness is Toxic Seahorse, which... Uh, Toxic Seahorse is a cool fight. I like the way that, like, he bounces around a bunch. And you, like, set up the ice trap for him to land on it. Um, I think it's pretty cool, but it's a, it's a fairly standard fight. Uh, generally speaking, there's not a ton of gimmick to it. He's a cool design. His level's really cool, too. Um, he's probably better than Bubble Crab, though. We gotta start kind of doing this now. Where, like, maybe these two are actually down here. Toxic I thought because of the glitch. Oh, yeah, you can, um... You can infinite damage him, right? Like, you, you take away his invincibility frames. That's funny. Toxic. Then you fight Tunnel Rhino. Tunnel Rhino's also kind of whack. Like, he's, like, here. Maybe here. He doesn't do anything. Like, he, he has, like, his invuln move where he, like, glows rainbow. That's, like, all I can think of for him. Like, yeah, he's, he's pretty boring. Um, and then Volt Catfish. 
Volt Catfish is kind of neat. Pretty standard fight as well. I like using his weakness against him. I like that he ha he makes the Poggy's face. Um, he's definitely better than this with the weakness. Definitely better than this with the weakness. Better than Crab. He's like around here. He's very similar to Armadillo when you have his weakness. Yeah. I don't remember exactly what else he does. I just remember you just drill him and kill him. I don't remember like his cool... Oh, he like pounds the ground, right? And like stuns you, I think. Knocks you off the wall. Kind of neat. Um, and then Volcatfish's weakness is the crab. Uh, this guy? I don't really even remember his, like, his deal. Let's watch some fights. He has like 10 frames of animation total, Pog. Wait, why don't you show the boss fight? <laughs> right, <laughs> he gets owned. Me when my opponent has my weakness? Yeah, that's right, he just charges at you. Even if you just use the weakness over and over again, he just charges and he's, he's very Mandrill-esque. Mandrill's gotta fall one, I think. Nah, Mandrill... Mandrill's fine here. He's, he's funny. Um, then you get the Cutter, which is technically good against him, I think. Hold on, I'm trying to remember now. Slash is really cool. Slash goes in A. Probably, like, here. Or something like that. Um... I remember him being really cool. He jumps off the wall. He's got like his pattern shots. He's like a pretty challenging and he's usually who you start with. So like in starting with him, you got to beat him with Buster. I don't even think his weakness is that good against him. Like thinking about it, I, I never beat him with his weakness. I always just beat him with Buster. And uh, yeah, he's cool. Um, Blast Hornet is also really cool. He also has one of the coolest weapons in the game. I don't know. Gravity, let me do Gravity Beetle next, because use Cutter against Gravity Beetle. Gravity Beetle has one of my favorite themes. For whatever reason, though, I can't... I can't remember the fight with Gravity Beetle. Yeah, he's got, like, the best theme. All right, he just chucks, chucks stuff around. Oh, yeah, that's right. He just jumps when you hit him with the weakness, right? What the heck am I looking at? Oh, this is some mod. I, I don't yeah, you hit him with the weakness. You hit him with the Ray Splasher and he just jumps and then you just do it again, right? Yeah, his theme's good, but he's, he's around this tier because he just jumps and then gets hit again and then jumps and then gets hit again. Uh, Blast Hornet, very similar. Uh, Gravity Beetle is the one with the, like the coolest move in the game. Blast Hornet has a cool move too. Uh, but Blast Hornet is similarly pretty helpless with his weakness. Kind of a boring fight. Yeah. Like, maybe... Maybe this needs a separate tier, because I kind of want to separate... I kind of want to separate... Uh, the people who are basically just trivial when you have their weakness, but could be a cool fight versus like, 
just kind of annoying. Like, I'll kind of label these afterwards. But so far, I kind of like where we're at. All right, X4. This is where it gets a little shakier for me as far as, like, who's where. I know this is X4. This is X4. You can kind of tell by the uh, the animation style. This is X5, I think. This is X4. This is X4. This is X4. Duff McWhalen, he's X5. Is he X4 or X5? X5, thought so. Yeah, Cyber Peacock is sick. One, two, three, four, five, six. Is is Clam? Hold on. I'll figure this out. Big boy is X5. Five is spider. This spider? No, right? Mushroom is yeah, mushroom is right. I know that. Spider. Is it this dude? There's no way. This is X1 spider. Green spider. It's him? Oh, it is him. You're right. He gives you the web. He He's he's this guy's weakness. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's so funny. He looks like the freaking X1 spider. I was getting tripped up. Okay, so this one's a little harder. Um, this guy is so whack with his weakness, but he's so cool otherwise. And he has his like, he has a really cool attack as well for both characters. Like I think, is, is he the one who gives you the flip for zero? And I know he gives you the soul clone for X. And like, I don't know, but he's so whack when you have his weakness. I can hear the... Ah, 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 ah. Oh! Ah. <laughs> like, you just hit him over and over again with the web. So, he's probably, like, top of trivial with their weakness tier. But, like... He's such a cool enemy. He has, he has such a cool, like, concept. As far as, like, what he does. I might put him here for that reason. Nah, he no 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 preferential treatment. Um and then his weakness is into Cyber Peacock. You start with Spider in this game as far as I remember. Spider I think was pretty generic. Um he like goes to the center. He has a cool transformation. He like goes to the center and makes that big web and then like kind of takes up a bunch of the screen, sets the babies. I remember his fight got a lot easier when you got his weakness. But you fight him with Buster first, usually. He's probably, like, here. I don't remember him being terribly fun to fight against. And then also you've got the, like, do you fight them as X or Zero idea. But we'll start him there. Cyber Peacock is pretty high tier. Uh, Cyber Peacock has a really cool stage. Really cool fight idea. Um... I do think he's pretty trivial with the soul body. Let me see if let me see if they have that. Peacock has such a cool stage. He has such a cool design too. Oh, they're not using his weakness. Buster only. Everyone's just doing these, like, challenge runs. I just want to see somebody abuse the weakness. Here we go. Yeah, he just glitches out. And then you got he appears on you. He does, like, that little DP motion. Pretty cool how his weakness works with him, too. He's a cool boss. Who's got the ultimate armor? Lol. No damage run, by the way. Hmm. 
Yeah, pretty cool. Um, I, I think I could maybe wager an S for him. If he's S or any of these other ones S. And it, that might shift Morph Moth into S. Definitely none of these, but I think Morph Moth is better than Cyber Peacock for the transformation and stuff. Such a cool idea. And then Peacock is Storm Owl's weakness. Storm Owl is a pretty cool fight, especially, again, using the weakness. He's fairly trivial with the weakness. Um, but it is hard as zero to use the weakness against him, if I recall correctly. He's probably, like, somewhere around here. Yeah, he's, like, by SpongeBob. Probably do this. Yeah, Storm, Storm Owl's all right. I'll put him next to his brother, Storm Eagle. And then Storm Owl gives you the little uh, wind balls, which is his weakness. He had a pretty cool fight. Um, I like his, like, running on the train stuff. <laughs> um, his fight itself was pretty generic. I think I mostly use Buster on him. Because I think I fight him early. Um, his stage is really cool. The trains. He's probably like here. I'd probably call that fair. He has some cool moves. Uh, fighting him as zero is really fun. You got to move around a lot. And yeah, his stage really carries. Then there's this guy. <laughs> so I kind of like his stage. I like his stage. Um, even though, like, a lot of people hate the bike stages, I think they're pretty cool. Um, his fight, I don't remember his fight much. Oh, yeah, you hit him and he, like, floats up off the top of the screen. And then he, like, comes back down and then you hit him and then he floats up off the screen. Uh, he's kind of whatever. As far as a fight goes when you have his weakness... His stage is good. His design is really cool. I think, like, yeah, we definitely want to credit the design of some of these. Some of them are carried a little bit by their design. Kind of like Seahorse, Storm Eagle, almost all of A tier. I'd probably put him pretty high. Probably, like, here. His fight is pretty lame. His fight is his weakest aspect. If you have his weakness, it's just like... It's it's not like... It's almost down here. But he looks cool. So, like, that helps. Yeah. Little water bird. He's right next to his bird pros as well. Then, um... Magma Dragoon. Magma Dragoon fight is sick. Magma Dragoon is like... I mean, it's the spiritual successor to Flamestag. He actually... I think... Does he even say Hadouken? He has a lot of the, like, Street Fighter references, too. Yeah, Magma Dragoon is, like, super S-tier. Like, I think easily the best we've looked at so far. For, like, so many reasons. And then this guy... He's another Pepega Buffalo, right? Like, you can cheese him, too. He just, like... You hit him with his weakness, and he just, like, scoots across the floor. And then you jump over him, and then you do it again. He's, like... He's, like, here. <laughs> He's pretty whack, if I recall correctly. Yeah. Alright, here we go now. X5. I might need some help on this one. This is where my knowledge starts to get foggy. Yeah, he does the shifty little roll, huh? Is is Stinky Poo Beetle in X5? Or is he X6? Turtloid is also X6. Man, I really... This guy's X5. This guy's X5. This guy's X5? No, this guy's 6. 6. Firefly is five. Rose is five, okay. These two are six. What? 
Magma Dragoon was five. Oh, he came back. That's right. Wait, this is... Why do I just not remember this game at all? <laughs> These two are six. Okay. It's Dragoon, Duff McWhalen, Pegasus, Rose... Volt and Crescent. Bro, I do not remember any of these by like a lot. Okay. Bat. Yeah, let's just let's just learn together. Okay, Crescent Grizzly. Jeez Louise, this is bad. What happened? I mean, <laughs> functional, I guess. That's an ugly fight. Take this over the weird 3D, I suppose. I right, Volt Kraken, Squid Adler, excuse me. Me when I addle squids. This fight looks cool. Okay, we got an ad break. I'll educate myself during the ad break. He's not a bad fight. He just lacks animations. Maybe he's here then. The squid fight looks pretty good, actually. This actually looks like a sweet fight. I'm gonna probably put this up here in this kind of like... Skillish intensive, you use their weakness, but it doesn't make the fight too trivial. The design is cool. This guy's probably lower. This guy's probably here. His weakness does kind of make the fight trivial. Yeah, Squid is really good. This dude. Easy glow. Like this song slaps. Erm. Whoa. Wait, this is cool. I like the way the weakness interacts with his like teleportation power. Also, what are you supposed to do about that laser? Oh, this is the this is the spiral stairs guy. I thought he uh, that was mushroom. I remember the spiral stairs stage. This is actually a really cool fight, just like kind of aesthetically and and like utility wise. It does look like it's just a brawl though. It just looks like you're just slugging it out until one of you dies. But, like, nothing wrong with that. Probably puts him, like... Let's bring this guy up a little bit. And put this guy, like, here. Yeah. Duff McWhalen, dude. The goat. What is happening? This is kind of cool. But wait, there's spikes on the wrong side. Does he squish you? Like, do you, yeah, I guess you just get squished. This is actually a really cool fight. The 
this dude is trying to die. Okay. Seems like a pretty cool fight. Seems like his weakness helps, but again, doesn't trivialize the fight. It's probably like an A-tier fight. It looks like a really cool fight. You got to navigate the blocks. Requires a lot of movement. Requires, like, urgency to actually, like, hit him and destroy the ice before, before you get owned. All right, this dude. You... What's his name? The Skiver? The Rizzler? Yeah, he's got a storm stage. He dashes at you. A little after image for you. Kind of a cool idea. He just flies at you. The Skiver, dude. Did you do anything else? Whoa! Oh, that's his weakness. <laughs> I was gonna say. Okay, nothing super exciting, but it's a fun fight. It's, you know, it's very similar to Eagle, right? So he probably goes right around Eagle. This is like eagle tier. <laughs> and then the rose. Aesthetic on point. Axel the red. Yeah, tings with wings. You guys kind of getting dumpstered by his weakness. He sends out a clone. Yeah, he just gets dumped on by his weakness. Skibbity hops around. Kind of does nothing. It, I don't like when a boss's main means of damaging you is touching you. And they're not some kind of like creature that would do that. That was kind of whatever. Little better than like weakness trivializes it, but not by a lot. He has a rose. I guess he has thorns. But like, oops. Yeah, I guess I guess roses do have thorns. And then it, oh, the bat is here too. I remember the bat being a cool fight. Like he shut off the lights, right? And then like use that to fight you. Dark Glizzy? Oh, you hit him with the, the RC plane. The light, it burns. Oh no, he's... He's a pushover. Oh my god. Melt him. Dude, do something. Do something. He looks cool. Oh, are, do you cheese him by, like, looking away? He hits the freaking whoa every time he, uh... Every time he gets hit by the weakness. Whoa! He has done zero actions. None actions. This is bad. He is in this tier. <laughs> but he looks cool, so he'll go like here, I guess. Did we miss any? Oh, Matrix. Rawr. Oh, he's big. Oh. Oh no. This is a bad sign. 
He is also a pushover. Yeah, I, he is. Uh, he looks like Mandrel tier. Yeah, you just dodge the dodge the fire. Do it again. Is that the whole fight? Yup. It's kind of neat. He looks really cool. Goofball energy though. Yeah. He's like here. Not a great fight. Wait, what else? Okay, then there's Ramon. Yeah, that's all the uh, that's all the Mavericks. Refights. Yeah, that's all. Oh, look at this! Look at that! Look at that smile. Okay, X6 is then going to be all the ones that aren't 3D, right? Three, four, five. Chicken? This chicken? Probably this chicken. Man, I see some I see some godlike bosses from seven in this. The weird Blastoise guy. This guy. How am I feeling about Chaos now that Kara FF has gone hair and um he's still fine, like obviously weaker, but like he's still fine. He doesn't need it. Um it's a tough it's a tough matchup, but uh or it's a tough matchup spread, I should say. But he, he didn't like lose viability because of it. Anteater and Shark. Oh, Shark, yeah. This guy? This guy. Wait, this is X6? Okay, great. We gotta watch, uh... We gotta watch this now. No, that's X7? No. Oh. Yeah, he looked 3D, so. Who else is even 2D here? Chicken? No. Is that it? I don't know, we'll see. Clam. Clam I remember being cool. He has a really cool weapon, too. The glass guy with the glowy stuff inside. Bubble Man. Yeah, I remember this fight being pretty cool. Yeah, this is a really cool fight. And his weapon is sick, too. Oh, he talks. I think I weaknessed this guy, though, because I don't remember seeing all of this. I probably fought him with his weakness. So I don't know how that affects the fight. He's cool. Uh, definitely like up there. I think he's, he, he seems pretty good. Like mechanically pretty solid. And he's by his shell bro. Dog. Oh, he fights like, um, he fights like Sigma in X1. Yeah, I don't remember the ice power in this game. Pretty cool. He's definitely similar to like a chill penguin or something. Very similar type fight. Probably in this, like, B-ish tier. He has a really cool design, too. Probably give him top of this tier. What the hell is... Oh, it's the Dung Beetle. Stinky poo. What is bro doing? Oh, he's building up a big Dung Ball. Yeah, this is, uh... This is not it. He's dead? 
Oh my god. I I really just don't want to give this guy anything. I'm sorry. Like, you're like here. Uh, Dung Beetle is not it. This is some random mini boss. Garbage shark. Kind of neat. Got some dives, got some jumps. Dead as heck. Oh, he makes like... Oh, wait. He made... He makes junk versions of old bosses? That's so cool. I mean, just on that alone, just conceptually speaking, he's like S tier. That's so cool. And then he gets owned, but whatever. Dragonfly, I remember being pretty cool too. He has also a really cool power. Like EX Leaf Shield. Oh, this is cool. He's pretty high tier. That's a pretty cool fight. Probably like here. S? Maybe S? You can cut the balls, too. So, like, a couple different ways you can choose to fight him. Sick design. He might be S. We'll think about it at the end. He's kind of cute anime boy. Yeah, I definitely feel that to some extent. Bird? Bird arrive? Is his stage just fighting that giant wheel? Whoa. Okay, he makes fire come up. You fight five donuts before you fight him. Okay, he throws poop. Okay, oh, okay, he cuts off half the stage. Ah. And then forces you to dodge a bunch of stuff. That's neat. It's a cool fight. Nothing terribly exciting about it, but it's pretty it's pretty mechanically intense. It's not as good as the other winged fights, I don't think. But like it's this is a serious movement fight, which is really cool. It's got a pretty good theme too. Um we like here. Hi, Reith. Maybe like here, here, somewhere around here. Wrong bubble man, by the way. Wrong bubble man. This bubble man? Ah, <laughs> uh, no, this is just a boss's tier list. Alright, big boy. I remember him being kind of lame. He's huge. That's kind of neat, I guess. No more Seth orbs for point icons. No, I changed them. Yeah, it's a cool design because he's like a big, like, beater. But this fight looks kind of boring. It looks like it's just a patience test. Not very mechanically intense. And then he's dead. He's one of the better big boys. I like here. Maybe like... Maybe like here. What is that? <laughs> yeah, 
Scuba Steve. Are you Buzz Lightyear? Two of them. I don't remember this guy at all. I knew Tier Maker was the Uni 2 retirement home. Yeah, this was, this was a redeem. This is a redeem. We'll get back to Uni 2 in a second. I gotta get through all these, though, because this Blake comes birthday, and he, re he requested it. This fight looks like ass. This is a very challenging fight, though, it looks like. I mean, his weakness might make this dumb. That did nothing. Cool fight. Middle H tier. Probably like... Like here. He gets more clones if you use his weakness. Whoa. Yeah, I don't know. Doesn't look like a fun one. Kind of a neat idea. I don't even know his name. Shield Sheldon. Bazinga. Infinity Minion. Minions, though? Why doesn't anyone just fight the boss the intended way? Ah, here we go. Hello, everyone. Hi. Takes us into the night with the charged blade. Holy crap, the commentary. They fire homing bubbles at you. So there's two charge shots, and what you want to do after this is, well, if there aren't any bubbles on screen, boss run outtakes nearly impill her sleep her. Something else you all can enjoy it. And Got him screaming. Please. Nobody just uses his weakness. Oh, hey, it's me. Alright, whatever. Alright, on to X7. X7 is... A lot of dudes that I don't remember. But a couple that I do. Three, four, five. Ah, uh, Kong, Kanga, and Crow. Kong. First guy is X eight. What the heck is this thing? Which one's Kanga? Is it this? I don't know. I don't remember much about X7, and I don't think I played X8. But I do know that this guy is the goat. Oh, ad break. I'm gonna use the bathroom while we do this ad break. I'll be here.
Okay. Um, Flame Heinard is top tier. I can't put him as the best of all time, but he... I mean, the voice actor just went nuts on it, so I, I gotta give it up to Flame Heinard. Um, the water guy I remember liking. He had kind of a cool fight. Um, you could cheese it, but, like, he had a really cool design, I thought. And, like, he made the clones and stuff. That was a cool fight. Um, the ape I don't remember liking terribly much. Is he the one you fought in, like, a circle area where you ran around? I feel like he was kind of boring. I feel like he was kind of, like, like, this tier. Maybe even, like, even, like, this tier. He has a nice ass. <laughs> um, Warthog. Warthog was kind of whatever. Very middle, if I recall correctly. Almost like a... You know what? Seahorse is better than a lot of these birds. Warthog's like down here. Maybe like here. This guy was really annoying. Cool design though. He like spun around and shot stuff. I like him more than Warthog. I don't remember what this... Oh, I remember what this dude did. He, like, punched. It was jumpy, punchy guy. But I don't think he was terribly interesting. Probably, like... He's in a mech for the first half. I don't remember that part. He's probably like here. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I'm missing two from X7. I literally don't remember them. Pro and Anteater. Must be these two. Or is this crow? I think this is crow, right? Yeah, okay. I don't remember these. Wind crow rang. Oh, it's an eagle. You already know. Say hello to all of your friends. Snipe Anteater. Oh, I kind of remember this fight. I was so delirious by the end of X7. What what are you doing, bro? That the Ryer fridge? Yeah, it's me. How you doing, TJ? Hi, hi. This fight's neat. Kind of dizzying. Kind of mid. Probably like... I like here. Love that the bean is the currency now. Yeah. And then X8, I don't know at all for these. Let's watch them. Maybe we'll play X8 at some point. Yeah, Mega Man tier list was redeemed. All right. Okay, it's got some platforms. Okay, this is a cool gimmick. Laser circles the arena. You got to keep your eye on it. Oh, and it bounces. So like... And then she moves the platforms. This is a neat fight. 
And she throws two of them. Nice dodge. Disco ball. So she's like... She's like uh, how the one um, Zero Hunter from X2 uses the platforms with his spike and chain ball. Oh no, there's multiple ball. It's it's that. This looks like a really cool fight though. What is the fox? I'm also a resident in your walls. Welcome to my walls, everybody. Hi, hi. <laughs> you watch me sleep. This is a cool fight. I can get behind this. I would put this probably up here. It's it's a pretty good fight, it looks like. It's got good mechanics. Um, again, I don't know how clunky the controls are for that game. I like that the bosses are 2D in that game. That game might be entirely 2D now that I'm thinking about it. Um, what the heck is this? And Cutman here to take my cut. Okay, this dude looks cool. Mm. He's just a toucher, huh? Throws boomerangs. Holds up airspace and then just tries to touch you. Powers up. Just tries to touch you. Does he dive at some point? Nope, he just does a lot of nothing, it looks like. Oh, okay, he... He blocks off the wall. This is kind of a whatever fight. Very generic. Yep. No really cool gimmick here. It's a mid gimmick. You're probably like, again, in this middle tier. Which encompasses most of the boss fights. An ant. He summons block. Whoa. The room is big and he summons a block. Okay. Does he do anything else? <laughs> Okay, he makes... He does Seth force function. Oh, and then he moves the block. And that absorbs buster shots, okay. So you gotta, like, you gotta work around the block and around the gravity well. This is kind of dumb. Probably, like, here somewhere. Yeah, probably like somewhere around here. We can move these around a little bit at the end. This guy's sick. Minerals, Marie. He's got a hat. Oh, you blow up. <laughs> Never mind. My helmet. Okay, he makes pillars fall. He throws rocks. Uh-huh. Does he do anything when he has his helmet on? Does he ever have his helmet on for more than, like, two seconds? Kind of goofy. I think this is a mole? Horseshoe crab? It's a cool little ultimate, but like... This is like bad Duff McWhalen. Because he like poses almost zero threat most of the time. He's like bad Duff McWhalen.
Gigavolt Mana War. Well, look at him, he's like sludge. Okay, he attacks you. He bounces around, he fakes you out. Oh lordy. This one is not it either, huh? I really started on a good one. Okay, he summons buddies. And he takes up a lot of the screen. Kind of looks like a boring fight. I don't know. Oh my god, and you gotta spam to like keep that thing from charging at you. I don't think this is it either. You're probably right by your other buddy, the ant. All right, my snowman. He's half underground. He's chilling. Okay, jumping. Oh, this fight looks like ass. He leaves behind spikes. So he's kind of like... Uh... Kind of like wire sponge. He's actually kind of like wire sponge. Very generic fight. Chill penguin wire sponge kind of fight. Let's see if he has any gimmick. Did he make it rain ice spikes or something? Yeah. Yeah. It's a pretty generic fight. He's probably he's by like these guys. Wire sponge is cooler. What is bro doing? Chicken. <laughs> Burn rooster. Arise, chicken. Dive kick. Okay, he makes you stay on the walls. Goes into the background. Little ostrich vibe. He makes these things go up and down and do nothing. Oh, he makes them move during the fight. Never mind. They do nothing. What? Definitely missing something here. Okay, he moves them around. Kind of a neat fight. Cuts off some of the stage at the end. Makes you brawl. This no damage looks really hard, actually. But I don't think there's anything too special. He has a cool design. It's probably, like, up here somewhere. Like, around this guy. Yeah, I would give him, like, around here. Maybe bottom of this tier. Last but not least, the Pemda. <laughs> he might have the big body curse. Okay, that's neat. He just walks at you though, the classic. He's just another freaking uh, buffalo or mammoth. Yeah, he's just like a flame mammoth. He drops missiles, though. It's kind of neat. Okay, well. Bye-bye. Whoa! Omni Degrade! Hi, Raiders. Welcome, welcome. My name is Ryer. I'm a tournament organizer VTuber. Largely play fighting games. Uh, we will be playing some Undernight, but I had a... Um... Uh, tier list redeem come through. It's Blade Tom's birthday. Blade come in the chat. So we're doing a tier list really quick of all the Mega Man bosses. We actually just hit the last one. Uh, and he's not going to go very high up. He's just kind of a lame big body. Ryer, are you a fan of the Chisa? No, no, no. We, we, um, we talked about the Chisa a little bit. And I said, what the hell am I looking at? Uh, please no. Oh, no. 
Oh no. The bussy monster. Wait, no. <laughs> the Omni D clips. We gotta we gotta blacklist certain people the on the clips for the shout outs. In this playthrough. If the bussy ain't it, this bussy ain't it. I I her nickname <laughs> her nickname through that run was the bussy. <laughs> I, that, I was, I mean, that that was a run of all time. The uh, blood blood island or whatever it was called. That that was so funny. But yeah, we will be playing some uni in a second. If you all will entertain this last little bit of the tier list. But welcome in, welcome in. <laughs> Hope you're having a nice Monday. Um. Okay. So let's look at this tier list. Mega Man X bosses really quick. S tier. This is like peak design. Good fight. Right, the the fight's good and the design is really good. Uh, pretty content with all of these. I think, I think, and also at the point in which they appear in the game, like Gator, right? Gator isn't as good of a fight as all these, but it's one of the first fights in the series where you're like, okay, I see the potential in like boss fights in this franchise. Yeah, like, I'm pretty content with putting all of these in, like, a really high design and good fight. A tier. Good design. Slash great fight. Right? So, like, it doesn't have both. Some of them are, like, kind of a whack design. Oh, wow! Keegan, thank you for the gift sub. Congrats to Riske. Welcome to the tournament staff. Courtesy of Keegan. Thank you, thank you. Um, so like a lot of these it's like their design kind of carries them or their fight was really really good like snail Kind of gets a little of both of that as far as like order here I'm happy with this order Maybe like this This order could use some work Ah, the Texas Hammer. Thank you for the follow. Good to see you this past weekend. Welcome to the Challengers. Ostrich is a little high on this. So is Boomer. Probably something like this. B tier. This is your mid, right? Like, nothing super special. Pretty... <laughs> I love that Debussy guy's music. Yeah. Um, what does he, ha what does he have? He has, uh, the bussy has, uh, it's not, it's not Claire de Lune, right? Or is that Claire de Goon? Um, this one I'm not gonna bother ordering too terribly much, but like for one reason or another these are lacking a little bit so either Their designs kind of whatever or the fight takes like a little long Or there's like nothing really to it. Oh my goodness another tier one sub Thank you Keegan for another gift sub this time going to see you later. Congratulations. See you later Welcome to the tournament staff courtesy of Keegan. Thank you. Thank you C tier uh, this is boring Whoa, look at that. Um, these are boring. Uh, you just kind of, like, with their weakness, you just kind of loop them. Or, like, they're just, they don't do anything. Um, this is this is a mid-fight. This is better than boring. A lot of these other ones are boring, though. And then D-tier is, like, trivial. Like, these are just unfun because you literally just run over them with their weakness. They just AI loop into nothing. And then this is F tier. These just like kind of don't function or they get like one shot or like uh, in the case of launch octopus, it's just so boring even with his weakness. Yeah, I think I'm pretty happy with this. Uh, let me just save this in my tier lists folder. We'll go back to under night now. I'm pretty happy with that list. 
right, booting uni. Thank you for your patience, for those of you who are here for Undernight. But that was fun to make. Thank you, you're welcome. Happy birthday. Do I like any of the other Mega Man games slash series? Um, I like... Hi, Lyth. Oop. Uh, uni crashed. Uh, I, li <laughs> I like... Um, I like Battle Network. Battle Network's pretty fun. I like classic Mega Man, but not as much as X. X is probably my favorite. Good seeing you too, by the way. I'm hella behind from Twitch Mobile, I think. Yeah, <laughs> it's very possible. I just bought the Battle Remake today. Very cool. Um, Yeah, so... I liked Mega Man Legends, but I was too young to, like, actually understand and play it. Wait, hold on. Something's... Hi, White Beast. Yeah, we had the other music going. There we go. Me. I love Mega Man Zero and Battle Network. Yeah, I like Battle Network a lot. Um, uh, Mega Man Zero. I didn't love, but it's good. Like, very clearly good. Um, I didn't really play Command Mission. I, like I said, Legends, I didn't really understand when I played it. Um, Mega Man Soccer is peak. Stretch, you got it. Mm. Oh, we can zoom in for that. Yeah. I guess I got caught in free jump there. Oh, no counter hit. Um... <clears throat> Yo, who's this stanky guy, High Ryer? Hi, Red. Fan teching. Uh-oh. Stand tech. Ooh. Oh, whoa. Oh, I staggered too long. Yep. Can't really do much about that. I have to try to like roll it or shield it, I guess. Wow. Okay. 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 Can't really do much about that. Yep. Nice. <laughs> Dude, that's not even fast enough. What am I supposed to do? I guess I just wait for a cycle. <clears throat> Did movie night get canceled? No, yeah, it's tomorrow. It's tomorrow. Stan Tecker? I have some 
memories of people yelling Stan Tekker. <laughs> yeah, I don't, I don't quite know what to do about the Kage lasers. I guess I just gotta like get closer. But even if I'm close, I don't quite know what I can do about them. That's great. Guess I should just mash a little bit. I don't even know. Uh, gold throw. Nice. <clears throat> I was mashing VO. Jeez, where, where's the damage, Eggman? Oh, baby. Oh, no, I got a jump there. I didn't want that. That's so tragic. Um. No, that was shield, right? Okay, I guess. Okay. I just gotta wait for whatever they're gonna use to approach and just, like, 5B it or something. Oh, it sucks. Okay. Can't really do much, huh? I'm just, I'm just kind of helpless to whatever my opponent elects to do, and I have to answer it, you know, appropriately. I don't know why that's not punishable. Yep. Sure. Sure. We all just hit buttons when we're near each other, right? That's how the game works. That's not even what I wanted. That sucks. My fat fingered throw. I guess I just gotta be more aggressive. Dude. Sure. I pressed 2A. I'm just too slow. Okay. Nice. No. Okay. My dude just stops doing stuff. Yep. Dude. I I hate to be a whiner, but the PC input reader, dude, is so like it gets me killed so often. My dude just does nothing. I'll just do, I guess, other, like, block strings and routes and stuff. Are we just always teching, too? Like, everybody always techs all my stuff on PC. I don't get it. Oh, yeah, that's a frame trap. That's my bad. That one was my bad. I pressed 2A. 
Yeah, I'm dead. Zero percent chance I survive here. Opponent can do literally whatever they want. Yup. 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 What else am I gonna do? GG's. I don't even know what to think about them. I mean, I stand teched a couple times for sure. Some on purpose, some on accident. Um, do I play Melty? Uh, I played Lumina for a while. Uh, and then I don't. I don't play um, Actress again. Current code at all. But I like watching it or like mashing with friends. But I, I played Lumina for a while. Oh, yep. It doesn't work. Yep. What does stand tech mean? Stand tech. So in this game, you can option select throw tech with other options. Like with um, anti-air or jump. Um, because because the throw tech window is fairly gen uh, nice. Because the throw tech window is fairly generous. Um, you can option select throw tech with a lot of stuff. So there's no reason to just like... Oh, you're so good. So there's no reason to like basically just commit to teching throws. Which is what like stand tech is effectively. It's just just when you just press throw tech to try to tech a throw, you should be option almost always option selecting something else into that. Because a whiffed throw animation is so minus that uh oh, I lose. Damn. Like a whiff a whiff throw animation is so minus that uh it, it's not worth it. So that, that's a stand tech. Sure. Dude, I just feel like there's no freaking risk in my opponent doing whatever the hell they want. Always. Like, literally, no risk. I, I feel like I just have to kind of gimmick my opponent out every time. I have to knowledge check them or gimmick them out. Playing solid gets me freaking owned. I mean, we're in freaking current year, right? So nobody mashes on anything Chaos does anymore. I don't know how to make people mash. I guess I gotta throw more. But again, like, it feels like there's so little risk in mashing. Sure. Like, like everyone else in the game can just run up on you and do whatever the hell they want. I don't know. I gotta play characters like that. Where I can just run up on people. Yeah, they're shielding me a lot too, so I need to just like... Like that. Yeah, baby. Sure. That's actually fine. So nice. I love, I love meaty soul because just on, on, on a textbook, it is so bad because there's so many things that beat it. But like, I always die to it. Yeah, GG's. I always die to it. P particularly meaty assault. Cause like, who is teching a throw on wake up in this game? It's like one of the worst things you can do on wake up. And that's like all assault really beats besides me, me blocking and doing nothing and, and dying because I can't block an overhead. You know? So like on paper, on paper, a freaking meaty assault is so bad, but I, I die to it so much. Can I explain why media assault is bad? I feel like I just did. Um, but I could elaborate a little bit if you have a more specific question. 
I guess look at it this way. Think about it. What does Media Assault actually beat? It beats Wake Up Low Mash, and it beats Wake Up Throw Attempt. It doesn't even beat Wake Up Anti-Air Assault. Or not, Anti-Air OS. It doesn't beat Wake Up Anti-Air OS. It beats up... Um, yeah, here, I'll show it in training mode um, after this. But essentially, it just it doesn't beat anything. All it beats is your opponent being too patient. And, or all it beats is like wake up low shield, which I guess is a real thing. Or your opponent being too patient and not able to block overheads. Auto time safe jump, but 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 what purpose do safe jumps serve in Undernight? Like what are you actually afraid of that you need to be safe jumping in Undernight? Blocking is so powerful that it's it's very rare that people are actually reversaling on you doing something. Right? My throws are super obvious today. Yeah, like, safe jumps in fighting games are very good. Safe jumps in Undernight, not so much. Like, you don't really need a safe jump in Undernight. <laughs> Nice and assault is good. Assault is less good in this game than it was in clear, but assault is good. I just think media assault is quite bad. I lose. Never mind. Everyone is tacking every one of my throws. Oh, here's the question. I actually need to see... Is it Media Assault plus if they just block it? Yeah. How good is being plus, though? You gotta remember, we're playing Undernight. Chaos's entire kit is I'm plus. All it does is feed, feed the opponent grid. Plus, there's a shield. Plus, shield uh, would be minus. Plus, you can't block a VO. So like, there's a lot of there's. I, I'll talk about it um, after this match. Short SLNA. No way! I died. I must. Yeah, you got me. GG's. I don't know why I play like such a dork sometimes. Alright, so talking about Media Assault. Um, let's just have... Try to do something pretty simple. Um, we'll do it as a reversal option. Um, okay. Let's do, um, does she have Vorpal? Yeah, she does. Okay. We'll just go... Pretend that's meaty, because it might not be truly meaty, but Chaos has no reversal anyways, so I can't push anything there. It would be what, what you're saying is like an auto time safe jump and all that. So, essentially... If you do a meaty safe jump, or a meaty assault, assault is, again, fairly reactable. So if you do meaty assault, you're in a timing. You're doing it right here. Here, let me turn off the thingy. So you're doing it right here, right? The opponent's waking up. So they have throw-in vulnerability because they're waking up, so they can't be thrown. They 
are going to be on the defensive because they just got knocked down. So, like, you also got, like, meaty 2A and stuff, right? So, pretty much no opponent's going to be, like, pressing here. Uh, and so, if you do meaty assault, yeah, you'll build some grid. So, like, that might be worth it because you'll build some grid. And actually, something that a lot of people will do deep into the RPS is meaty empty assault here. Um, because it farms grid. It's the grid farm. You'll farm some grid. Your opponent will try to stand shield, probably, because they want to block your your overhead and and etc etc so like it also uh it also i believe loses to vo i can't really test that sincerely i can't really test that sincerely because i don't think i timed the meaty right but like v uh, vo is very good against assault in this version just because like and like 1 ad is not in the, this version either so the only thing the only thing you're really beating if you media assault is a low mash, which is valid in some ways, right? But a regular media will beat a low mash too. And you're beating stand tech. But again, your opponent's not really throwable here. So it, it's, it's really unlikely that people are gonna be like waking up with many OS options, except maybe anti-air OS. Because, like, trying to jump out, trying to do, like, a jump OS on Wake Up is just asking to get 2 aid um, because they're already right on you. And if they react to the assault and shield it, you know, you, you get owned. So, the benefits of, like, it being a safe jump, because, yeah, if they reverse or whatever, you will beat them. Uh, but it's, it's kind of one of those things that's, like, it's a safe jump that nobody's ever going to reversal on because it's so telegraphed, if that makes sense. Like a lot of times a safe jump is good because it's ambiguous if it's a safe jump or not. It loses to VO, yeah, so it's not even a safe, because VO is really fast. VO is like 14 frames or something, 15 frames. So like, yeah, it's, it's just, it's just there's too many things that beat it and blocking is one of them. So it only beats like people being patient and crouch blocking or people stand teching or people low mashing. Cause if I, if I high mash, I actually probably can, nah, no, it's meaty. It's meaty. So it beats mashing. It beats mashing and stand teching and some jump OS is like, I guess, but like, I don't know, largely speaking, it just doesn't beat enough for the risk because you give up so much grid for if you get shielded because it's an overhead that they shielded. This guy's being really patient. I gotta fit some grabs in. I gotta maybe scout what kind of OS he's going for. It's a good opportunity to do that. Okay, he's, sta he's stand tacking. So we don't want to go for grab on him. So because he's stand tacking, actually, assault might work. <laughs> uh, Chaos Backdash sucks. Oh, there's... There's 3 CAD, okay. So, he does... He does 3 CAD. So we gotta blow up between stand tech and 3 CAD. Maybe he just messed up 3 CAD before. Seems like that's probably the one he's gonna go to. Let's try to win cycle. Yep, I was staring at cycle, of course. It took longer than I thought it would. I'm dead. Can you kill Hilda's orbs? Uh, I don't believe so. I don't actually know. There we go. Blow up the three cad. Oh no, Ozzy's on the wrong side. Okay, we're fine. Thank you, bye, for explaining it to me. Yeah, no problem. Thanks for asking. 
Do I always look this good or is it just because I have a blanket on? I cannot answer that question. I don't know. Fine. Blaze, thank you for the follow. Welcome to the challengers. Good to have you here. Hope you're doing well. Mount. Nice. Some ranked. My boy called me up because Ryo was doing ranked. Incredible. Nice combos. Thanks, get. Thanks, thanks, thanks. Thank you, True Power and Reynal. How's your day been? We just finished up some Grand Blue. I was gonna play Grand Blue today. Uh oh. I'm in trouble. This is so much potential damage. I blocked that, I think. Oh, I'm dead. That was punishable. Nice. I hit maintenance about it. Oh, good. I'm glad I didn't decide to do that. Not catch the back dash. Uh oh. This is scary. Oh no, that's not what I wanted. He's still three catting, dude. Okay. I have to delay my 2A so much. Oh, that sucks. I die? No, I'm fine. I gotta eat this mix, though. Sucks. Yep. Yep. The one thing I don't like doing about playing Chaos is like, I guess he's not really OSing right now. Like, and yeah, now I can actually start throwing him because he's delaying that 3 CAD like heavy. Or maybe he's even reacting to my assault with 3 CAD. There we go, we hit the 3 CAD again. Oh, huge. Cheap. Oh, that was nice. Nice chase. Fine. Holy crap. I don't know, of whatever you want, I guess. I have way too many points. Oh, no. 
I just made a tier list for Bladecom. Hey Rex, how's it going? What's good? We're just sniffing out some OS's. That's my goal for today. Um, I played in locals on Saturday. Um, and actually, I actually took it over Omni Deke in winners finals, but then he beat me in grands. But uh, I was actually like looking for like three CAD and I blew it up a couple times and I'm like, wait a minute, I can do this. Oh, you can just do it next time? Okay, I'll do it next time. Yo, yeah, no, I was feeling myself. And so like, I'm trying to like, basically I'm taking these matches, win or lose. I'll get a little frustrated if I lose, but like win or lose, I want to see what they do and then think of an answer and then just go for the answer and try to elaborate that skill set. Right? That's like that's like the plan. So like sack my first interaction basically. Especially if I can just get a block string into plus frames. Sack that first interaction. And then uh like try to build off of that. Wow up food menu items tier list. Okay, if you can you gotta find it. So if you find it on tier maker, I'll do it. I'll do it tonight too. It's fine. Just blocking. Okay. Maybe because I'm in VO. Mash. Okay. Okay, so mash. So mash is gonna be frame trap. For now, because that was a quick mash. That wasn't a delayed mash. So we'll try it here. Okay. Defensive. Corner. Corner probably influences that. Saw a stand tech there. Could have been an accident. Sure. Here, I'm gonna own me there. Own died. I'm dead. Tier maker Wawa. Okay, you got it. Sizzlies? I don't know what I don't know what Sizzlies are. Tier and list are both banned in your chat, so smart. No, that sucks. I died. Both teams fought hard. Just kill me. Thank you. Okay, what did I learn? Nothing. Damn. You got it. Silly me for pressing the shield button. I can't do anything. Watch, watch for rebeats, actually. Yeah, we can watch for rebeats. Yeah, you got it. No, oh, forgive me for doing something. Chaos is not allowed to do things. I have zero hope of surviving this onslaught. I think she can special cancel that, or EX cancel that. Oh, yep. Every time I take to the sky, I regret it. TRM would have owned me there. Yep. Got it. Yep. Nice. Hey, Rare, can I play with you in ranked now? I want to improve my chaos? Yeah, absolutely. If you find me in ranked, absolutely. Boot up. Okay. I can't, I can't tech throws. 
I don't know what I'm supposed to do. Okay. Yeah. Forgive me for pressing my button. GG's. Sorry, I, I don't want to like not play this person again. They just played her, but I don't want to like lose and then not rematch. Duck people, it's good for mental. Yeah, I know this is cat. That's especially why I don't want to duck. When I know the person, it feels worse to duck. <laughs> Even though that's probably the more acceptable people to duck. Oh, yep, you got me. Uh, um. I pressed something, but it didn't come out. I have to engage with her defensive habits, because I can't fight her offense. I can't I can't fight this offense. Nice. Put my homie Doza last night on Grand Blue Ranked. I did a wake up far H with Grim into super to kill. And then all that forward and type GG's. You're built different, I can't do that. Throws, throws are free. I, I can't press anything else. I can't do anything about throws. I, I literally just die. If I had a 3 cad or like... I don't know. Even if I could like... 6-6 six, six BAD? I don't... I don't know what I'm supposed to do when somebody threatens to throw me. JA is not it. People talk about JA like it's this like really cheap OS. JA is not it. And then people can just block against me. Like what can I actually threaten with? Right? Like who cares if Chaos throws you? That's just another opportunity to walk past the dog. This character struggles so much, man. Oh, I didn't have 5A. That's cheap. Gonna lurk while I go get food? Okay. Ooh, nice. GG's. It's over. Yep. Maybe 3D with Vorpal Opportunity. 3D, I got a 3D more, you're right about that. What does Chaos have? Literally does the combo throw. Yeah, dude. You got it. You're right. I shouldn't complain. My character does damage. So therefore... I have no right to complain. I don't even know how I didn't block there. Jeez, I almost got freaking grid broke throw there. I did it so late. Yep. Ooh, almost punished. I, I guess I guess I gotta try to. If people are stringing a lot, I gotta maybe 3D more. I don't even know. Oh, wow, nice jump out. Oh. 
I mean, I was so happy when Redblade tweeted, uh, like, what is Chaos supposed to do about Tsurugi? This feels like the worst matchup in modern fighting game history. And I'm like, thank goodness somebody's saying something. And I know it's red and, like, you know, it's not always, you know, you take his takes with a grain of salt. But, like, I think he's so right. He's, he's right pretty frequently, too, for what it's worth. People like to highlight the uh, Insano takes, but he's right pretty frequently. Yeah, I don't like that idea, though, that, like, I'm just going to do this and see what what I can get away with type vibe. But I guess that's kind of how you have to play the game. You have to see what you can get away with. Oh, I messed up. Info reader. Nice. I'm going for it. This at least gets me psycho a little more frequently. I'd rather play a character with a more concrete plan than see what I can get away with. Exactly. This character was on Renala's tier list as gimmick, along with like Kaguya and Orie. So like, it, it's not. It's not like. It's not that far off. I wish I liked another character in this game. Okay. Let me see how big this tier list is. We'll do that real quick. And then, um, Twister, I can play you. And we'll go from there. Wawa, Sizzly. Oh, I've had most of these. Okay. Hell yeah. Okay. Alright, let's see, let's see. We got... Oh! Blem, thank you for the raid! Time to go back to Seth? I thought about it. I'm not even gonna lie, I thought about it. Um... Hi Blem, thank you for the raid. Hi, hi Raiders! Welcome, welcome, my name is Ryer, tournament organizer and VTuber. I largely play fighting games on this channel. And we are playing Undernight today. Uh, while we make a breakfast sandwich tier list. For those of you in my chat, if you don't know Blem, really cool guy, loves RPGs, loves uh, fighting games, makes some really good content, definitely check him out too. <laughs> I wonder if you were streaming and I come into a fast food tier list immediately after the games. Yeah, that got, that got redeemed during our match. Unicorn Overlord, that game looks cool. Never ate at this place? Yeah, this is wow, wow. This is like an EX gas station. It's somewhere between 7-Eleven and Bucky's on the tier list. All right, so we got bacon, egg, and cheese. I got to give a bacon, egg, and cheese S tier. Uh, I don't think you can really lose with it. Um, you know, it's just it's just that good. I mean, it's solid. It's fundamentally sound. Um, on a bagel, maybe not the best option. The clip where I got told I was a twink no matter what. Oh my. <laughs> um, I've had this waffle thing and it is no McGriddle, but it's not that bad. I will put this in the middle. Pork roll egg and cheese. Bucky's is so good. Yeah, Bucky's is super good. Bucky's is high on the tier list. Um, pork roll egg and cheese. I'm sorry, that ain't it for me. Uh, honestly, it might be here. I'm not, I'll go bacon, egg, and cheese. I'll go sausage, egg, and cheese. I'm not going pork roll, egg, and cheese. I've never even picked this one up. Uh, this is sausage, egg, and cheese. Respectable. On a bagel. Respectable. Uh, I would probably give that an A tier. I believe this is the um, turkey sausage, egg, and cheese. And in my opinion, if you're going turkey sausage, you're probably messing up. 
So again, that's gonna be one tier below pork sausage. And again, if you can't eat pork products, I'm not applying this list to you. You would obviously put this like this probably, but whatever. Um, on a on a biscuit, sausage, egg, and cheese, I think is sausage, egg, and cheese on a biscuit is better than sausage, egg, and cheese on a bagel, but is not better, like, I would not flip that. Bacon, egg, and cheese on a biscuit is not as good as bacon, egg, and cheese on a bagel. I would say, I would say bacon, egg, and cheese on a bagel, then probably sausage, egg, and cheese on a biscuit, and then probably sausage, egg, and cheese on a bagel, and then probably bacon, egg, and cheese on a biscuit. I know that's kind of weird, but like, I feel like bacon and biscuit doesn't really go together. Sausage and biscuit definitely goes together. Um, this is some kind of Fiesta burrito nightmare. I'm just gonna put this here. I don't want, it doesn't look very good. <laughs> yeah, bacon and bagel is like, it's so good. Uh, this looks miserable. <laughs> I don't know what this is. Jarvis, can we get a zoom in on that? That is just chunks. I I mean, it's some kind of sausage wrap. Sausage roll and wrap or something like that. It's not it, I will tell you that. Bacon, egg, and cheese on a croissant. Looks like a pass. Yeah, agreed. Um, bacon, egg, and cheese on a croissant. Ooh. Bacon, egg, and cheese on a croissant goes pretty hard. Playcom, thank you for the 10 bits. With the smiley face, the su. I'm not a fan of burritos. I prefer bagels, biscuits, and croissants by far. Yeah. I'm trying to think about this croissant instead of the bagel. The croissant, I think, beats... Sausage, egg, and cheese on a bagel. I, I I can confidently say this beats this. But I don't know if this beats this. And this beats this. So it's either this or this. It's close. I think... By virtue of, like, what else is in the meta... If I'm going bacon, I'm going bagel. And if I'm not going bacon, I'm going sausage biscuit. Just by, like, meta call, by virtue of meta. Uh, with that, sausage on a croissant, again, doesn't really work the same way that, like, bacon works on a croissant. So, sausage on a croissant goes even lower. It's like, you get the buttery croissant. Like, I think, I think the key here is buttery bagel, buttery croissant. Great with bacon. Just, like, crunches and sticks. Buttery item with sausage doesn't really work like flakiness of the biscuit works with the sausage sizzling croissant turkey sausage egg and bacon turkey sausage egg and bacon croissant now that would cook a little harder than a pork sausage croissant i know it's weird like just the way these all interplay with each other but turkey sausage on a croissant probably works a little bit better with that like butteriness and like the the bread does a little more of the heavy lifting than like here you've got dry bagel dry turkey sausage Ugh. oh actually i'm even moving this down one dry bagel dry turkey sausage garbage buttery croissant dry turkey sausage maybe you find a happy medium right french toast sausage egg and cheese there is a crowd for this. I am not this crowd. I will take it over some of these gnarly looking ones. Turkey sausage is not a winner. No, turkey. So, so like, I, I would pick this though. Like, this is certainly pickable. Wherein, like, if I'm like, oh man, bacon's going to be really heavy right now. I don't really want a whole bacon sandwich thing. I would go with this as like a compromise. Uh, French toast, I'm not about it. Yeah, it's certainly pickable. The French toast is not above the burrito, no. I don't even know why. <laughs> this thing is the anomaly right now. I think this thing is getting moved down even more. 
I don't know. No, I, no, I mess with this. I mess with this. This one is not it, though. I don't know. It's like, so you have one of two options here. The French toast is either going to be super bready. This is waffle. This is a uh, waffle. Sausage, egg, and cheese on a waffle. This works. The French toast is either going to be all syrup, which is like, no thanks. I, again, there is a crowd for it. I'm just not it. Or it's going to be dry as hell. And then why don't I just get, you know, a good bread with my sausage? Like a biscuit. Sausage, egg, and cheese. Mmm. Wait, what is this? Mmm. M-U-M-N. Sizzling. Oh, muffin. It's a muffin. It's an English muffin. Oh, it's an Egg McMuffin. Without ham. Mmm. No, it's muffin. <laughs> Yeah, the pancake or waffle are either going to be giga dry or giga syrupy, and like neither is terribly good. Muffin, English muffin, sausage, egg, and cheese. English muffin goes hard, but it's so good with ham, like an egg McMuffin style. Sausage McMuffin? Sausage McMuffin is better than a sausage bagel, for sure. I grew up spoiled by my dad's French toast. Aw. Bacon croissant or sausage McMuffin? They're really close. Bacon croissant or sausage McMuffin? I think it's bacon croissant. Then sausage McMuffin. Then sausage bagel. Then turkey sausage croissant. Sausage croissant. Turkey sausage bagel. Then... <laughs> Then unplayable tier. <laughs> Sausage, egg, and cheese on a pancake. This is a McGriddle. This is trying to be a McGriddle. Certainly better than the French toast. Probably better. Probably not better than the burrito, though. And then this is egg bites. Little mini quiches. No bread. Probably like here. I want some bread with my Wawa, Sizzly, whatever they're called. And there you have it. Save this to my drive, because I save all my tier lists. Bring Uni back. Wawa breakfast. Makes me kind of want it now. All right, Twister, do you have a room? Or do you want to just try to, like, match on ranked? So you can make a room if you want to do, like, a first to three or five or whatever. Ah, but I... Mr. Twister. Alright, let's get it. Oh, I saw one bar. I hope it's not too bad. Oh. oh my goodness gracious. I don't think this is it. <laughs> you keep saying relax. I'm very relaxed. Relax, I'll handle it. Oh, 
I didn't even see that come through. Holy moly. This thing is uh, skibbity scatting. Excellent. Nice. What kind of like 6C? I like 6C uh, Smart Steer Ender for um... I like 6C Smart Steer Ender for um... Uh... Uh, for using CS to, like, get in. Zidahaka. Covered in Mama Lizzo's chili oil. Oh, I wanted to roll. I pressed force function. Excellent. Oh, this is cheap. Nice. <laughs> yeah, under night. Yeah, strike throw. <laughs> セカンドペンギニニニニニニニニニニニニニニニニニニニニニニニニニニニニニニニニニニニニニニニニニニニニニニニニニニニニニニニニニニニニニニニニニニニニニニニニニニニニニニニニニニニニニニニニニニニニニ
Jump back jab, though. I was showing some people jump back jab last Saturday. No! Bum, bum, bum. Yeah, that, you're so right, Blem. Like, honestly, it's a Komone game. Blocking, blocking is losing a lot of the time. I, I've been, I really like the 2A staggers I was doing there though. Like I can really do like long 2A staggers. Briar, do you watch Drag Race? Ah, uh, no, I've never watched Drag Race. I respect that it is peak, though. What in roll? Erm? Oh, I see. There's another line. Hold on. Would I rather guess Ragnamix or eat Soul Strike Throw than deal with when do I match like Anki do or Hide or. Yeah. It is tough. And like, recognizing opponents like offense patterns is actually quite hard. I should have just supered. Okay, we're fine. Yeah, like, responding to icy buttons and then just responding to, like, assault gets me, like, super messed up. I don't know. When I'm, like, locked in, I can do it. But that's, that's that was kind of the distinction that I had last time is, like, during the fight, I kind of have to just be focused. Which I guess is fine. But I like chatting when I fight. I need to learn how to respond to a jab. Yeah, it can be hard. Chaos, Chaos especially, like, doesn't have a lot of tools to deal with just, like, his opponent staggering. Like this, right? Like, it's very hard to deal with uh, the opponent staggering when you're on Chaos. Because he doesn't have, like, a good anti-mash OS to go to. He has to kind of jump and hope. Roll is a good tool. I want to use it more. But, like, I have to wait. I want to maybe respond to, like, Assault with Roll more. You just hold PB? Who's PB? Peanut Butter? Princess Bubblegum? Paul Blart? Malkoff? <laughs> Push block. Oh, okay. Yeah, Paul Ball Blart. Paul Blart, Mall Blart, dude. He's just, it's peak. I can't believe that fire reached you. Mall Blart, Ball Cop. Yeah. <laughs> my Tekken custom character. Thanks, GG's. Yeah, thanks for playing. You have some pretty good offense strings, but it is so hard for Chaos on defense. So I can absolutely see, like... I can see that defense is hard for you. Paul Blart Mole Theft. Yeah, robbery. Paul Blart Robbery. 
Leco. Lego. <laughs> That's the honey day for winning. Oh, wait, post has been deleted. Batista. Dave Batista. Nash Tista. Nash Tista. Flash kick. Ma'am. Oh, I had it. Yeah, this person's new, obviously. So, chat, etiquette question. Do I not hit rematch, or are they supposed to not hit rematch if they don't want to play again? I think it's that way, right? Like, I think I need to hit rematch. You can't really win and not rematch. Because it's really up to the person. Like, obviously, this person is just new or doesn't know the chaos matchup. Yeah, always rematch, right? Like, even though it's... Like, you know, I'm just running offense on this person. I can maybe, I can maybe slow it down a little bit as, as a way to, you know, kind of compensate for that. But the person just clearly doesn't know the chaos matchup for one reason or another. And yeah, and if they don't want to play, they don't have to rematch. That's probably the way to, to look at it. Always rematch, no sandbag, and no mercy. Y'all don't just be bullying people? I mean, that's kind of how I feel right now. Hard, you gotta take what you can get. No, I don't want to look at it that way. <laughs> it's not. I mean, that's just the green goblin mask in the back of my head whispering that to me, but I don't want to think that way. <laughs> yeah, take the points. <laughs> I think, I think, yeah, I think everyone's pretty much in agreement. And then just don't feel bad if they, if they leave. Oh, ad break. Let's go. Right, cat's owning me right now. I need to lock in the hide. I need to use that run in that people do when Ozzy whiffs uh, to my advantage. That. Exactly that I need to use to my advantage. Holy crap, the grid. Oh, laser. Oh, yep. Yeah, I need to think, what can I do about their run-in? Maybe we do a little whiteboarding after this. Oh, no. Sado! Gaia Vortex! I 
Yep, meant to do that. <laughs> oh no! I'm, I'm mashing! I'm mashing! <laughs> I wanted IW kill so bad there. Oh no. Man, I low shield from too far away. There's no reason to low shield from that distance. Doesn't kill. It's does zero damage, actually. Wow. That was a punish? Wait, this matchup might be better than I thought. Hey, Mike, how's it going? Gap D's? <laughs> Oh no, grid, my grid! Oh, the whiff! Oh, I don't recognize Trash Island. It's a uh, cat. ZZ cat. AKA Cusco Tenchi. Ah! Drain God? Drain Gang? <laughs> Oh, I accidentally stand teched. I'm something of a drain god myself. <laughs> little little Spider-Man reference. We might be watching Spider-Man tomorrow for movie night. If I can't find a way to watch Boy in the Heron. I'm probably just gonna boot up Spider-Man. We were talking about it on VR chat on Saturday, and I was like, wait, that movie is amazing. We should just watch that. Oh no. Gotta focus. My, my cycle. Yeah, that was all gapless too. Which Spider-Man? Um, Sam Raimi. Sam Raimi Spider-Man. With Willem Dafoe. Green Goblin mask whispering. Whispering to him. <laughs> one of my favorite bits is... Um, one of my favorite bits is uh, in Northern Lion's channel when he has all his friends doing Jackbox. Yeah, the Hyde matchup, I used to think Hyde like, now dominated it, but I think it's still Chaos favored. Uh, after playing it a bit more. Yeah, Willem the Goat. <laughs> um, there's, uh, what was I gonna say? Oh my god. Oh yeah, in Northern Lions chat, when he's doing Jackbox with his, like, friends, there's one dude who, when they do the rapping robots, there's one dude who always does these, like, super horny, like, rap lyrics, and they joke that, like, he has the green goblin mask whispering to him, so they call it, they call it like, goblin mask lyrics. Because <laughs> it'll be, like, totally innocuous. He'll be like, my flow is so fresh, my flow is so fly, and then he's like, now take off your pants, because I'm about to... <laughs> like, it's always like, oh my god, Cory busted out the goblin raps again. <laughs> it's so funny. Oh no, I'm mad. 
Uh oh, chance? Never mind. <laughs> Back dash. Okay. Oh no, buffer incident. Yes, sir. Oh, I tried to roll. I might have been. It wasn't gapless, I just didn't hit it at the right time. Erm. I wonder if I'm like if I'm ever like leaving damage on the table that I shouldn't be I know that I know that I am but I, I don't know to what extent I am and if uh if I would actually win more matches if I had slightly better routes because I definitely keep my routes super simple a lot of the time Like, even just something as simple as not 236 being. Oh, wow. Like, not 236 being when um, I'm doing the corner route with the double fireball. I, it's an easy 236B before 236C. Ah, you got me. I just never do it. Uh oh. Oh, my goodness gracious. I will never block an assault in my life. Hide is two plus. DP, yeah. Oh my goodness. Yeah, just like thinking about what options they have when they're in my sandwich. Pressure, like I just don't, I just don't think about options as often as I probably should. Like I do stuff that doesn't beat. That was cool. Wait, that was really cool. <laughs> Like, what did, what did roll beat there? Uh, literally nothing is the answer. Oh, you got me. That time roll was, I think, a little more reasonable. No, that was death. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I was trolly. <laughs> I was like, she's gotta press something here. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna send it. I'm, I'm scared. You got me. Wow, it was a counter hit. Um. Could I? Oh, 
I need to start looking for the run up too. And at least commit to something rather than just die, die, th like getting thrown. do goofy stuff like this. I don't know. I want to be enabled. You got me. Oh, no. We're fine. We're fine. We're chilling. We're chilling. And we're dead. Probably play through until this next ad break hits. And then maybe a Balatro run to end the night. Mmm, Balatro. Ugh, I ate too much food today. I really ate too much food yesterday, but as such, I should have eaten less food today, but I ate, like, slightly more than normal food today, which doesn't feel good. Oh, goodness. Nice. Yeah, Tekken, fight BB, whip cancel strings. All my characters whip cancel. <laughs> Chaos, 2B, Tekken. It's because I whip so much, I need that whip cancel on deck. I might need to start committing more to like just sticking sticking an arm out there when they're running at me. And if I die, I die. But not like after we're already at this point, right? Like when they're in the act of running at me from full screen. Ooh, nice hit. Oh no. I also like I like 6C into either Smart Steer Ender or into an EX move to spend some resource to use 6C as like a a way to get pressure started. I got the CS out of her. All that really matters there. Watch for a throw. Ah, dang it. Cycle was too close. I got too scared to do something. Nice. No, you got me. Oh my goodness, why am I so bad? Yeah. You got me. Oh no. I'm just, I'm just as good as dead. I can't do anything. Yeah, that was just bad, like me choosing not to mash at good times there. There we go. Try to catch the timings. 
I could have got a better confirm there. We need to do this situation more too. Just, just two FFing is something I have to do more, even though it's annoying to deal with as the opponent. It's kind of where we're at, right? Like that, that is my tool. That is the tool they've given my character. Yep, sure. Yep. I don't know what to do. Um, oh my goodness, Prada! Thank you for the raid. Hey Raiders, welcome, welcome. My name is Ryer. I am a tournament organizer and VTuber. I largely play fighting games on this channel. We're playing Undernight tonight. How was your stream, Prada? Hope you're doing well. I wish I had one of those. I guess I do. If I just need 200 meter for it. A -A. It's the number one chaos player? Yeah, right. Maybe by technicality. Made it from B plus four to B plus one? Hell yeah, I'd love to see it. Got tired. Yeah, let me give you a shouty before you go. Yeah, there's damage is high in this game. <laughs> yeah, shout out to Prada. God like Grand Blue player, plays a lot of games. Hello V Cooper. Aye. Okay, lucky. Respect the cycle. Phone on life is hard, yeah. Yeah, phone on's tough in this game. Um, right now I'm actually playing against Cat. Uh, she's quite a good phone on. Um, subbing the hide right now. But yeah, uh, I got owned. I got owned by her phone on earlier. Oh, I'm timing that just wrong. I'm gonna do it. <laughs> when I'm happy, I say, bitches love my 236A. When I'm sad, I say, this time I'm really gonna do it. I didn't have Sivo. I thought I had Psycho for some reason. <laughs> that leaves you so plus. Yeah, it's um... If you're not in a screen position to like jump back and hit Ozzy with like JB or JC or JA, uh, it's... It's just, um, hame. You're, you're just screwed. Like, that is the one thing Chaos really has going for him, is he can just be like, it's it's time for me to make you guess. And then you either gotta throw a reversal, or pray. <laughs> so, like, I just gotta try to, I just gotta try to abuse that. That's really what Chaos, like, it's a very, very, very strong tool. But I hate, like, leaning on it. Er. But, you, you know, you gotta do what you gotta do. A low tier's gotta do what a low tier's gotta do. Why don't you throw some bitches? Hmm. I don't think I do that in any game. I don't really play any, like, throw characters. Yeah. 
Erm? Sato. I dead. Yeah, you need to, baby. Ash. Firm. Power up. Oh, we're so back. No. You already know what it is. <laughs> Hi, Thorndike Galaxy. Welcome. Thank you for the first time, chat. You're dead. <laughs> this game. This game is funny. Yeah. Nice. Right, I can't I can't leave gaps when you got the CS. Okay. Um. Yeah, if, I, if I'm allowed to jump away from hide, I can do a lot better. What do I want to do here though? Get me out. I'm scared. That was a misinput. Don't you dare! No gap all yap here. That's what I'm saying. Don't not leave a gap. Yeah, shout out to the input reader. <laughs> Ooh, I love the way I've been to a, I must say. Dog. <laughs> Thank you for the Saturday, Salty. I lowered the price on that one. I lowered the price on a lot of things, actually. So I realized a lot of redeems weren't being used, and I realized they were actually kind of expensive. Um, oh, I'm getting too, getting too wormy. I need to chill. Alright, I'm a 5C after the next gap. <laughs> like 5B here too. Oh my goodness, so many raids tonight. Imperius Club, thank you for the raid. Hi raiders, welcome, welcome. Oh goodness. Oh no, I don't I don't wanna spend, I don't wanna spend, I don't wanna spend. Okay, we're fine. Thank you for the raid, thank you for the raid. Uh welcome raiders, my name's Ryer, tournament organizer and VTuber. I largely play fighting games on this channel. Um Today we're playing Undernight, but I also play Grand Blue and a little bit of Tekken and some variety. I hope uh Melty was fun tonight. Good escape. You know, if I can use that to take their CS for free, though, I guess 2A can also take their CS, so it's, that's actually a little bit better. Lost a few brain cells calming tonight. I'm sorry to hear that. Whoa! <laughs> Pure boy, thank you for the follow. Hey, welcome to the challengers. Good to have you here. Um... Yeah, so big shout out to Impurist Club. If you're in my channel and you don't know who Impurist Club is somehow, uh, definitely give him a follow. He runs a lot of Undernight stuff. Melty Blood, Grand Blue, crossover arc in a week. Look forward to it. Give him all your support. Give him all your money. You already know. This character is awesome, but I'm too much of a fumbler. Yeah, hide is hard. 
What a Blenix. Crossover, yay. Fox's Pog, he'd be like, I play the cute characters? Yeah. I always play the cute characters. Satoru Goju? History's biggest fraud in person? Gojo? GG's, you have a good rest of your stream? Yeah, GG's, cat. Thank you. All right, he's a down backer. He's a down backer. He's an OSer. Midnight Toker. Yoink. Oh, nope. Very passive. Me when I'd win? What's up, Aura, dude? It's time. Yeah, we turned that into a kill with the CS to reset all the Aussie moves. Blow up the OS! Don't confirm it because I'm ass! I'm VOing. DP? No, patient boy. Reflect this fireball. Oh! <laughs> Go up the OS? Nope, okay, mash. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> and then win with a stand tech. Ooh! Ooh, gosh. Chaos is cool. Chaos is sick. Please be being salty. It's all chill. I love your commentary because of how informative you are. Ichi, what's up, Ichi? How you doing? Good to see ya. Blow up the OS! Oh, I did it again! I'm, I'm learning. Do I have the learning emote in chat? Learning, there it is. That's me right now. Oh, good green shield. <laughs> Learning. Yeah, at Locals, at Locals this weekend, uh, for like the first time, I saw Omni do 3CAD, and I was like, oh, wait, I can blow that up. Good blocks. For the first time, yeah, I, I blew up a 3CAD for the first time. Isn't he a 3 cat slammer? Yup. He is. And it, it finally occurred to me. I'm like, wait, I can just blow that up. Ooh, full screen 4K. Hold that. Gojo would play uh, Nanase. Happy breakthrough. Yeah. You got second. Yeah, I actually, I won winner's finals. And then fumbled in grands. But uh, it was a good tourney. Like, I was really happy with how I played. Mmm, mochi mochi. Colon three. <laughs> Any colon threes in chat? Yeah, it was so close to... 
Which tourney was today? Uh, nothing today. This was my locals on Saturday. <laughs> Carmine? I don't like this Carmine character. No throws yet, huh? There you go. Backdash after throw. Noted. Learning. Hold this. Back, back jump, whoa. Oh, I didn't shield twice. Oh my goodness, more raids. <laughs> Get me out! Hi, Raiders, I'll be with you in one second. Call me Chalk. Thank you for the raid. Can I get a shout out for Call Me Chalk? Hi, nice to meet you. Welcome, Raiders. My name's Ryer, tournament organizer and VTuber. I largely play fighting games on this channel. Uh, we're playing Undernight today. Oh, I'm bad. We're playing Undernight today. Um, you know, I gotta do it. You can see us. You got nothing off it. Oh! What's up, sup? Yeah, welcome, welcome. Were you playing Undernight as well? Oh, bye! We can win this. I win these. <laughs> of course, it's the overhead. Okay. Are you done? Oh, I thought I was out of range of that. I'm give you a shout. I tried to 4D it or 3D it. Try not to be bad as hard, but we'll get there. Hell yeah. Love seeing people play the game. This is so hard. Oh yeah, we're out. Oh, weird. Ma'am? Oh wow, that was a out of range of VO. Very nice. I feel like with meter advantage, grid thrust is solid versus Karm. I agree with that. Yes. Uh, I think that is correct. W raid. Hello, raiders, raiders. You're... Yeah, I might try uh, guard thrust here. If it comes up. He's also a jump backer, it looks like. Cycle is mine. Wow. It spends grid. Yeah, okay, noted. Okay. I'm just letting him run up 5A. I need to uh, be 5 BBing that, I think. Oh, I could have swung. Erm. Um. Yeah, I'm just letting him get- I'm not focusing enough. I'm not- I'm just letting him get away with everything. I- I- that was supposed to be guard thrust. Unfortunately, there was a gap. Did you come out of the gold mine because a smile like yours is a great treasure? Ah. Aww. That's so sweet. Whoa, he got he got freaking yeeted. Of course. I saw it! I saw it! How'd you get your, fri your, your French friend to put you in the game and name you Chaos, right? Isn't that sick? Oh, 
Oh, thank you for the follow. Yeah, I play a lot of fighting games. Goodbye. I play Grand Blue, this, Tekken. Tekken, I'm very beginner. Um, hold on, I gotta focus on this. I'm godlike, dude. Aki. Akimi. Oh no, I looked at chat. Grabbing. Aware. Alright, it's time. Hey, hi. Whew. But yeah, I play a lot of fighting games, uh, Thorn. So definitely, yeah, if you stop by, you will see me doing that or like. Balatro or like nonsense. ADT, pum pum. Thank you for the follow. Welcome to the challengers. Good to have you here. Erm. Whoa, lag. Uh, I will answer your question in a second. But long story short, I would stick with Yuzu. Right? Yeah, there's another uh, very good fighting game VTuber there. Uh, Akimi, Aki FGC in the chat. Uh, amazing multi buff player among other games. Including Undernight. Um, man, I can't, I can't look at chat and grid and the game. Tearless streamer? I am a tearless streamer. <laughs> Professional yapper. Whoa, that was bold. Oh no. I got greedy. I got greedy. Come here. No. Mm -hmm. I gotta figure out what I can mash on that wheel. You know what? Oh no, I'm dead. Wait, we're fine. No, what am I doing? Oh, I'm grid broken. Oh, I tried to, uh, I tried the creeping edge, but I was grid broken. <laughs> Time to request a tier list of all the Balatro jokers. Oh man, there's so many. Someone made that. There's actually a video of somebody who made that, I think. She got back into fighting games. I used to play Smash with a side of Blaze Blue, then stopped. Nice to hear. Yeah, I mean, fighting games are always welcome to have more people back. Four card hand joker underrated. Hmm. I think it's good. Four card hand joker. Hmm. I would probably rate that low if I'm. Oh, wait. Replay takeover. Replay takeover. I want to see where I could. What I could have mashed on that wheel. 5C or 2C? Yeah. I'm, I imagine either works. Especially 2C because I get really low with that, right? Okay, there we go. I don't know why, but I immediately thought of Xenoblade Shulk going, what a bunch. I'm not going to try to do a Shulk accent. I, 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 I went for it for like half a second there and I was like, nope, we're not doing that. It's, too, it's Monday night. I'm not, I'm not doing that. 6C could be giga busted. Yeah, well, let's try them all. Um, Shulk can't do a Shulk accent. <laughs> How you doing, Imp? How you holding up? Yeah, what's nice about the ones like that, so I like Bull and the four card one and Runner, is then like in late game, it kind of doesn't matter what hand you play. You always have chips. So you can just kind of like preserve resource. Chaos is cool as hell, but I got scared off him on another high execution character. Yeah, so worth noting, Yuzu is like the complete package in this game. She's so strong that you wouldn't really need a secondary unless you wanted to play him for fun. 
But speaking competitively, you'll be fine with just Yuzu. And Chaos wouldn't plug those holes either. So it would just be for fun. Which I, of course, can't make an opinion on. There, okay. Um... So I have to go back a little bit, right? I will continue with 2FF. Yeah, you've got the idea. Okay, that's a punish, but not a counter hit. You freaking die for that. I'm, I want to see how late into it I because I know he's going to do it here. Oh, you got all day. Even that, like... Do I have a good jumping option versus it? Let me think. No. In case they do the meme. Hmm. Well, maybe if he's closer, JA would work. That one I might have to set up, because this is a spaced one. Yeah, but I have all day to hit it if I see him go for a wheel. Holy crap, wait, that's huge. Okay. I love replay takeover. Like, because what's, what's super broken about replay takeover, like in the good way, is... um. If you have other voices, aka a chat room, to like suggest ideas as well on top of Replay Takeover, it's just too powerful. It's like you're always sitting in a major, at a hotel room, labbing options. The voice is the Green Goblin mask telling you to go to Replay Takeover. Try to see. Yeah, so it looked, and that was off of 6C from him. <laughs> That was off a of 6C from him, so like, there's gonna be strings that give you even less block stun too. We have um ads coming in a second, so sorry. Replay Tiku, Takeover is the reason why I can round start against Kwan or Merkava. I didn't even think about like round start replay takeovers. <gasps> oh, Makona, thank you for the sub to avoid the ads. Smart, smart. Um, <laughs> thank you. Welcome to the tournament staff. Thank you for the prime. Heck yeah. Yeah, you can sub to avoid the ads. You don't miss much during the ads. If a match is already in progress, I can't do anything about that. But I usually won't start a match if ads are going. And then, um, am I even searching, by the way? Oh, I am. Um, but I, I won't really start one with ads. And I try to just, like, chat or whatever during ads. And not, not about anything important that, like, everybody's chatting about. I don't want too many people to, to miss out on stuff. Like, I'm just going to give this pretty much until the end of the ads. Yeah, you get the Dancing Ryer if you sub, too. Mbiakia. Oh, I have a neat idea for something that can punish Biakia. I want to try it after this. I have a neat idea. If he does 6-6-C, I might try it. <laughs> Ooh, getting clipped low a, a quite a bit. Oh, whoa. Random creeping edge. Okay, we're looking for those. Oh no. Too many bounces? Must have been too many bounces. 
He doesn't block low much. Also a little laggy. Which it feels like is probably affecting him more than it's affecting me. Oh, there was the 660 I could have tried. Yeah, okay, that doesn't seem feasible. I don't know yet a Discord. Is this new? Uh, I've always had it. You're welcome to join. We're doing movie night tomorrow. Uh, if you want to come in and participate in some of that. No, stop, he's already dead. Stop. Ozzy, stop. Yeah, it pops up like once every 20 minutes or something. I assume the link works. We've had a couple people join. Yeah, we're gonna I wanna watch um the new um The Boy and the Heron. That was at the Oscars and like I wanna see if I can find a way to watch that. I know it's like still in theaters, but it might be on some some service or something. Um, if you know what I'm saying. And then, uh, if not, we're probably gonna watch Sam Raimi Spider-Man because <laughs> that's that's an that's an all-timer. Oh, yeah. Erm? Oh, boy. Oh, buddy. This dude's flying around a little much for my liking. We need to get Ozzy back over here like now, dude. Where's Ozzy? Spider Peak, I gotta stop by or I'm finished. <laughs> Looking out window. It's like one of my favorite movies. Oh, I'm dead. Oh no, we're fine. I should probably um not just screw around. I should I should focus a little bit more. Another thing I was doing on Saturday was I was leading with 236B a lot more than 236A. Because it gave me kind of a backup option if they ended up past Ozzy, like that. I'll just spend one. Back to formula. Oh my goodness. So we're fine. No, my only weakness. Blocking. Oh goodness. Oh, that sucks. For you. Yeah, the, the charge 3C is quite potent. A charge 3C in uh, Papa Tone's chili oil. All right, I'm starting to talk nonsense. Probably a couple more games and then we got to call it for the evening. I never found out how the Chisa was from Omni. 
I, I was actually like mildly invested in that. I should probably just do this string more too. What am I plus on this? Oh, why is it whiffing now? Hold on. Why is it whiffing now? There we go. Plus 26, that's without rebeat. Plus 38. Decent. Variable. Variable frame data. My favorite. If I dash up, oh my. Still plus 38. That's funny. Plus 20 on a min concentrate. It doesn't count the dash? Oh, okay. That makes sense. Because, yeah, I guess because I haven't been active. Yeah. So I guess it's just how much I dash up or whatever. It's still good. I don't know if it's better than just doing this with it. Oops. Like, totally gapless sandwich mix. But, yeah, I don't know. Alright, next match is last match. Let me go find somebody, actually. Make sure it's a good one. Hatsune Merku seems like the pick. S4 hide? Why not? Wow, what's happening? Uni dying? Net servers dying? My net dying? Alright, I'm down. No, no, that's one! That's one bar! Oh my gosh. Please say no. Oh my god, give me out. Give me out. Yeah, give me out. Give me out. One bar, Kuon? No thanks. Tooth? Sure. <laughs> Maybe we don't get another match tonight. I'm looking basically for someone over a mil and then like or someone in like S, even if they're not over a mil. But if I don't find anybody in a couple clicks, I'm uh I'm dipping. I could play the grayed out one bar Nana say. <laughs> it's probably all West Coast peeps now, cause like the time. That's usually what happens. It gets to be about 10 or 11. Yeah, I might just, I might just call it. It was a good session. Wow, actually almost four hours. Oh wait, ho hello? Where did everybody come from? Still not a lot of choice here. All right. This or nothing. Is this Suica? And I don't want to play coast to coast.
I don't know. I think it's a wrap. It's a wrap. All right, let's raid someone. We will be gaming another day. Yeah, we got a bunch of folks. Let's do a raid. Let's send it to, I'm gonna send it probably to a VTuber. Just to make their night. W stream, thank you, thank you. We got a VTuber playing Uni. Ace Windfall. I'm gonna send it to Ace. All right, I think that's it for me tonight then. You all be good to one another. Movie night tomorrow in the Discord if you wanna hang out. Otherwise, I'll be live again Wednesday. Probably Grand Blue, but I haven't decided yet. It might just be more Uni or it might be Tekken, but it'll be a fighting game, so see y'all then. Bye-bye.